Hello friends. Um, as you could tell, I'm sounding a little sick today, but uh, I have some exciting news, man. So I've been taking this pretty serious. I've been trying to do my best to up the quality and everything, and I know I don't always succeed, but um, I feel like even though I'm filming on an iPhone camera most of the time, that most of my stuff does come out pretty decent. But I wanted to take it a step further and just see if it would make a difference if I actually bought like a iPhone vlogging set. So that's what I have here in front of me today. So I wanted to go ahead and unbox it with y'all and then uh, do a comparison for this video to see if it's better. Um, y'all can let me know if the audio quality is better and lighting, all these things like that. But then we also have some parts that we're going to install today. So. Uh, we'll do this unboxing of this vlogger kit and then we will go ahead and continue on with the video All right guys, so I haven't opened this yet. Uh, it just came in literally like two days ago But we've been moving and everything else, but besides the point um, I wanted to wait and do it until I had time to make a video so Pretty nice packaging. This is an Amazon product um, Watched a couple of videos about it and Looked like it was a pretty good thing. So let me go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what's inside. All right, so first things first is going to be the uh, phone stand, which I actually need that right now because mine is packed up in our house uh, far away from here. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it together, show you what it looks like all together, show you how it works. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone on there so I can be hands-free for the rest of this process. All right, so obviously this thing's pretty cool. Um, it has a functionality on it where you can pretty much move this thing upwards like this so when I'm vlogging I can hold it as such and it's also doubles as a little tripod with, there you have it so again let me go ahead and get my phone in there I'll show y'all how it looks with me holding it and then I'll go ahead and set it back down all right so we're currently on the phone stand um, for those of you that don't know I'm using an iPhone 12 to shoot my videos. Um, it barely fits in there with the case, but it does fit. So that's good news. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue with the unboxing so we can get to the rest of the video. Okay. So next up, the main reason why I bought this thing was because it has this microphone. It comes with the little boom uh, sock, whatever they call it. Um, but right now, like the quality in the video usually isn't too bad, but I just wanted to see what it would be like with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then uh, I guess I'll see what it sounds like in comparison once I actually look at the footage. So let me go ahead and do that right quick. I uh, hope it's better. Uh, this thing wasn't too pricey. It was about 110 bucks for the whole setup. Uh, well, 160 bucks actually, but Anyway, if it makes a difference, cool. Um, I should be able to put the boom sock on too. Uh, it won't be in the video whatsoever, so that's cool. And uh, anyway, continuing on, the last thing that it has with it is a little um, a light that goes on top. So it would be just to kind of give you some better lighting when you're filming. Um, it's not charged right now, so I can't really show you how bright it is, but comes with a little protective case for it and everything just something simple again I don't know if it'll improve the quality of the videos much at all but I feel like anything that could help as far as making it better for everyone and more enjoyable for the viewer I should say uh, is good with me so anyway let me uh, check this footage out see how it sounds with this microphone and then uh, we'll get to the point of this whole video which is actually installing the parts so if you're interested in this kit, um, I'll put a link to it. They have it on Amazon again for like 160 bucks. So uh, by all means, feel free to do it if you're pursuing YouTube, whatever. But uh, when I pick this back up, we'll be installing parts. So thank you. All right, so I never really talked too much about it, but um, I've been wanting to do some custom badges on my car. Um, as y'all know, in that first video I put a while back, I had the red Type R badges. Now I have these black ones, which are like some eBay specials. But I took it a step further, paid a little bit too much money, but I uh, ended up getting these carbon fiber and sonic gray pearl uh, color matched ones from Sixth Carbon Element is the name of the company. Um, again, a little pricey, 
kind of a long turnaround time on it, but I think it'll be worth it um, for a comparison. You know, pretty true to size and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this one off and we'll try it on. Then we'll go ahead and work on the back. So uh, let's get to it. So now that we have the old badge off, which um, I'd recommend using some heat or something, I just had a butter knife from in the house that I used, but I mean, I don't have any tools or anything over here. Um, but you can basically just use heat, loosen up the glue on the back of the badge. Um, I had actually added a whole bunch onto this one whenever I first got it, but I managed to get it off without breaking it, so I'll be able to sell it, give it away, whatever. Uh, this one doesn't have as much, but it should be the same thing. So anyway, I went ahead and cleaned it with some alcohol and uh, wiped it off real good. And uh, we'll go ahead and stick this one real quick. So let's see. Now that we have it on, we want to go ahead and hold it for uh, like 30 seconds or so, and then uh, it should be stuck. I may have to end up pulling it off and adding some more because it's not feeling like it's doing too well, but uh, we'll go ahead and see real quick. So I guess it looks pretty good. Uh, might be a little bit much, but I'm definitely going to have to get some more double-sided tape. I'll put it on the back because it's not sticking the best. Uh, this grill is aftermarket and these are made specifically to fit for the OEM grill. So let me go see if I can find some real quick and then I'll restick it and then uh, I guess we're committed to it now. So looks pretty good to me. Uh, just let me know what you think in the comments about it. But I'll be right back with the solution to fix the sticking problem. Alright, so I'm back. Um, I went by this. Uh, it might be a little bit overkill, but screw it. I'd rather it not fly off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut some strips up, get them on the back of it, and then uh, we'll see uh, if it'll stick better this go around. Alright, so the front side is officially on. Uh, it went from please don't come off to I'm not asking. So that'll be on there pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and go do the back. <laughs> So I don't know how to feel about them. Um, obviously the curls are a little different. <clears throat> um, it looks really good on the front. But in the back, it seems to be a little much. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to look at it from every which way. I thought it would be better looking than the black on the, the other stuff, but I don't know. Um, again, in the front, I don't find it to be too bad. Um, it has a lot of offset between the, the black and the, um, the inside, but I don't know about that rear one. Um, so one thing right now, my car is not clean, so that could be another problem with why it looks so bright compared to my uh, color, but either way, I paid good money for them, so I might as well run them for a little while. If I get tired of them, I might go back to red or figure something out. Honestly, I kind of wish I would have never strayed away from the stock ones, but it is what it is. Uh, again, the whole reason why I even went red in the first place is because somebody gifted me one and I mean each type R badge is worth like 70 80 bucks a piece so it took me 70 bucks to complete the set so either way uh, looks pretty cool again I like the front a lot more than the rear it seems a little bit excessive in the back um, and you can see it it just kind of it almost makes it look like you really just have a carbon fiber H instead of the chrome but uh, you know it's fine it is, it is what it is but I hope y'all liked it. Um, 
videos are probably going to slow down because it's just me and my money. It's me and my wife's money. And thank y'all for coming along with me on this journey. Um, I know I haven't had this channel long, and I know in these short couple of years I've been trying to help y'all get to know me a little bit better and everything. Some of y'all don't like whenever I'm on camera as much, but you know, for the ones who appreciate it, thank you. Um, again, I'm trying. I bought my vlogger kit to maybe help out a little bit, so I hope it does better. But uh, at the end of the day, I just wanted to say thank y'all for getting me pretty much to 700. Thank y'all so much for getting me this far. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, y'all have a good one, guys.